Let's get started opening files from the cloud. And when I say cloud, I mean files stored on either OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, or Dropbox. After you open Word, make sure you're signed in. Right now I'm signed in already with my personal Microsoft account. And I know that because I see my personal OneDrive and my personal email address listed under Connected Services. If I tap Open, I can see my OneDrive and my OneDrive folders. I'll open the folder that I want and then tap the file that I want to open. The app will download the file to my iPad and open it. Now it's ready to be worked on. I'll show you how to do more editing later, but for now, let me explain what this arrow is. This arrow takes you back to your files. So if you wanted to open another file, you tap the arrow and you go back here to where your files are. This is where you can see recent files, make new files, and open more. Let's do that, but this time let's open a file from work. And as you can see, I'm not logged into my work account yet because OneDrive for Business isn't shown here. But that's not a problem. I just tap Add a Place, then OneDrive for Business, and I log in with my work account. And there we go. I've got my OneDrive for Business here at my company Contoso, my folders, and I just tap a file to open it. One thing to keep in mind, you can only have one file open at a time. In fact, when you tap this arrow, your changes are saved automatically and the file is closed. And then the next file you open is the only one open. There's no way to have more than one file open, like on the Mac or the PC. Now I'll open a file from Dropbox. First I need to add Dropbox to my list of choices here, so I tap Add a Place. I tap Dropbox, and then I log in. I'll make sure to use the email address and password that I've been using for Dropbox. OK, so that's done. Now I can open files. I'll tap a file, and the app downloads the file to my iPad and opens it. Now I can start making changes.